How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another Play Arts Kai review. Today, taking a look at a Marvel variant figure. This is War Machine. I've been looking forward to this figure and I will say it's not bad, but there is a big gripe for me. And um, we'll look at it here in a second, but let's take a look at the box. Same box art that we've gotten with the new releases. You get the nice um, toy pick in an action pose. Again, designed by Hitoshi Kondo. You got the authenticity hologram sticker there, the Square Enix products logo up there. Window box, so you open it up. You get to see the figure on one side. You get a nice little write-up on the other side. If you like, you can pause and read that later. On the back, you get a nice little comic book style art piece. And then don't forget, underneath the serial number, which is machine stamped. Okay, get that out of the way. Bring him back in. And I have them all weaponed up. And again, um, really nice looking piece. These are all, at least the four weapons up top, um, can be mix matched all over the place. Um, so you can kind of see there. I just have them thrown on there. He also has these weapons on the side on his gauntlets that do come off. I just peg in. And um, they are just a pair. Each one, each arm has the same ones. So the only difference between the weapons is the two shoulder missile quadrants. Um, and then other accessory pieces he comes with, we'll just get that out of the way, I guess, since I already went over this, um, is a pair of open hands. So that's what you get. Which has some nice detail. I mean, you can kind of see the uh, the different coloring, and um, I mean, at least with the repulsor um, area, and then the nice little kind of guns, barrels, and all that type of stuff. Now, this piece he does come with two. When you get him out of the box. He doesn't come with any of this stuff on, but this piece is plugged in to this hole right here. You just unplug it. There isn't one for this side, it's just on this side. And then um, you have all four ports for his um, his weapons. And so there you go. Nice closer look at the detail. You get the silver on there. You get a little more detail on this gun than this one. And then these two are the same, um, the top right there. A little bit of silver, some red on each side, and right there. And then the missile quadrant's black with silver. It's painted nicely. Not a lot of sloppy paint I've noticed on this guy. Um, maybe just like one, which just probably is mine. Um, other than that though, it looks phenomenal. The, uh, the black, um, black, silver, um, and then there's a little bit of like purple mixed in with the silver, which is kind of cool to make it pop a little bit more. You have the nice little, um, shading throughout, um, a little bit of a gloss on some of the, um, on the armor. It's not bad. Um, hopefully my camera's picking it up, but you do have a nice, uh, nice detail. The red eyes being a little more of a, uh, gloss. You do have the nice little um, arc reactor that has a nice little plastic um, kind of cover on it, which is kind of cool. And then you have the same effect with these two pieces down here on his leg. All right, let's get into articulation. This is my biggest gripe with this figure. He looks great, and I like that. But with a Player's Kai figure, you get a lot of articulation. So, right off the bat, his head is on a double ball peg. So, that's normal. Not a big deal. Um, so, he can look up. He can look up pretty, pretty decent. Look down. And then, the neck piece into the chest is on a ball peg also. So, you can, you know, get him looking really down. Can't go up too far because it is hindered by the sculpt of that armor bit right there. 
The uh, chest here is on a ball peg, so you do have nice range of motion side to side, front and back, and it doesn't break the sculpt when you have it bent over. There's no like gapping hole in the back or even looking up. There's really not a lot there. This is a flexible plastic, so you do get a little bit more range and such. Now for the arms, this is my biggest gripe with this guy. Um, I, I like the look. This armor bit is nice, but this shoulder um, armor piece hinders the articulation. Now, this piece right here on both sides is not connected to this piece. So it's a little more, so you can get a little more flexibility there. And that's so you can get his shoulder armor underneath it so you can get him having his arms going outward. It is a very hard plastic, so you're gonna have to use some type of heat to uh, manipulate it to get that shoulder bit underneath. It does have the articulation there, it's just it's hindered by this piece. Um, and this is a hard plastic also. It's not a flexible plastic like uh, I'm used to with some of the Play Arts Kai stuff. Um, you can rotate his arm around 360 degrees. Not a big deal. I mean, it's going to be hindered by the weapons here, but these are all on ball joints, ratchet ball hinges. So those are nice. Um, from the base to uh, this piece to where it's actually connected to the gun. So you have a lot of mobility with this gun. With, the sh with these um, missile patterns, you have the same. You have a ratchet there. You have a ratchet up here. And then... Um, I think you have a swivel at the end. No, you don't. Or maybe you do. I'm not gonna try it. It probably will snap on me. Um, but you do have the ball hinges. There's two of them there. So you can manipulate that out of the way so you can rotate his arm around. Um, so do you have the uh, um, bicep swivel there? As far as a butterfly joint, not really. Um, doesn't swing out on oh, this doesn't move no this is a, no it's not gonna swing out it's a weird design it's the it's the design that they're doing now where they plug it in a ball a ball hinge into the um or just a, a ball peg into the actual chest and so um you should be able to manipulate it but this thing is too damn rigid so it's not gonna work um, so that's, that's, that's my biggest fail. All right. For the rest of it, um, the ink, or excuse me, the, uh, the elbow wrist and ankles are on your standard ball ratcheting hinge where it swivels at the top and at the base. And then you get, yeah, obviously get the ratchet there. So I'm not going to go over all of them. I'm not going to go to the wrist. It's the same. Uh, you do get the, uh, ball hinge for the uh, waist that's connected to the T-joint. This is a floating crotch piece so this does have a little bit of give um, but it is kind of on the smaller side so you can't really manipulate his legs too much you can go forward to about there back to about there and then out that's about it i wouldn't expect a lot of i don't know i guess agility or posability with a with such a heavily armed, um, you know, suit. So it doesn't really uh, make sense. You do have the, uh, the, um, swivel or the, um, at the uh, ball socket there at the hip. You do have a thigh cut. It's not horrible, but it's not great because it does break the skull. Double hinged knee. It's not bad. Uh, cause since you do have the kneecap again, the ball, ratcheting um, ankle so you can manipulate it to have a nice little ankle rocker and then you get the toe hinge that's it all right as far as other pieces really quickly i forgot you have these little like missile i don't know missile podrants two on his on his butt or on his hip actually um not bad they do swivel so you can get them out of the way they kind of remind me of the black panther uh, but not as fragile, but I would be a little cautious with them on that. But they do come packaged on him. And um, yeah, that's about it. 
very nice. Um, I do like it, but it's just that arm. I don't know. I don't like the way that you can't manipulate it. Size comparisons really quickly. Here he is next to the first Iron Man that we got. As you can see, he's a lot bigger, bulkier, um, and taller. So put him there. And then here is the uh, silver version of the red. So you can kind of see them together. All right. Oh, and I forgot. I think I mentioned these do swivel too. You just, I mean, they're just, you just pegged in. It would have been nice if they were on a ball hinge, but oh well. But yeah, you do have that. All right. He is a bit bulkier. Um, you do get the play arts guy stand, but as far as trying to get him into a flight pose, it might be a little uh, problematic because of the weight. And they're not the greatest stands to try and do dynamic poses and such. But uh, that's it. Um, yeah, it's a nice piece. I do like it. I was waiting for this thing to come out. And I'm not displeased as far as the overall purchase that I made. But I do wish that... Um, I'm sure I just need to finagle this piece and I'll get my articulation that I want. It's just kind of a, a pain to have to do that but that's about it as far as the price he is a little bit on the expensive side again I've, I've mentioned in all my player sky reviews so um he does come with quite a bit of accessories i do like that um does that justify the price that's your call but it is nice to see that he does come with more than just you know two guns and then something like that and that's it you got you do have a lot of um options which i maybe some more hands i don't know but other than that that's it um thanks for watching again i really do appreciate it stay tuned for more um if you like the video please hit the like button subscribe if you're not subscribed check out plastic fanatics right here 8 p.m eastern standard time on saturday and i will talk to everyone later